Hi, uh, today I want to talking about the value of time. This topic is the one that I've been thinking a lot and you know, based on my experience, I have a lot of things to share and I know this is not, a lot of information here is, is not unique, uh, but mostly what, what I'm talking about time is, is relative to an individual like myself or, or you, the value of time and how you want to treat time with respect and why why I'm talking about this topic and the main thing is that so you can figure out what kind of things or activities will be best based upon you know the time that we have and we know that time is not unlimited even though you know we don't know when our time is going to be up I, I know it's going to be up and especially, you know, depending on where you are in your life cycle. So, uh, and the other thing is that we want to make sure that we're not doing, you know, activities that are wasteful or negative or even harmful to you. You know, with that right mindset, uh, I always think that, you know, whatever time I have in a day, what what I'm gonna be using the time for. And as I'm, you know, keeping that concept all the time, I begin to weed out, you know, non-essential activities, you know, all of my time. So I think that's the main thing, again, because, you know, if you're not be aware of, you know, how you're gonna use your time wisely, you know, it might be very bad for you, especially, you know, for folks that are approaching retirement age and you, if you don't realize, you know, limited time that you have, you might not be spending time on the right things or, or on the right planning that you should be doing. Now, when we, when we were young, you know, in college or high school, of course, you know, uh, we think that time is unlimited, unlimited. And we, we tend to focus, you know, besides school, uh, we tend to focus more on, you know, entertainment. And, and that is okay, as long as it's not excessive, as long as, you know, you, you're gonna ask myself, should I spend evening time, you know, drinking or smoking, or, you know, to the extreme, you know, maybe using drug, you know, to, you know, to actually, you know, entertain yourself and friends, is that the, good way of spending time, you know, we, we need to actually teach our kids the value of time and and make sure that, you know, they're spending their time wisely. Not to saying that, you know, they have to like every hour, you know, have to figure out what to do next. I mean, they can have free time spent with family, families and friends and, you know, doing some other good hobbies. But the main thing is that, you know, you can ask myself, hey, am I wasting my time doing not so good things or bad things using my time. And with that concept, it really helped me to, to focus more on, you know, um, essential things in life instead of wasting time drifting away, you know, like we, we used to do. So I think that the time factor is very crucial for, for us in both family and work or business lives, you know. So if we, are mindful about you know the time factor we can be be more productive and more happy of what we're doing and, and you know we, we're not trying to uh, do a lot of garbage things on the time or try to do too many things that is not really matter so it's part of good planning and then it keep your balance you know in check you know um, so I think that's the main that's the main thing. Uh, make sure that you spend your, your time wisely doing the, the right things and you know, not spending time doing bad things. You know, that's what a lot of people, you know, some people, uh, you know, if they don't think about time factor, they thought they have, they have a limited amount of time. I, I can do whatever I want, you know, and really you have to, to, to respect the time and, and use it for beneficial things, okay? So hopefully that helps. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye for now.